Welcome to Tethered Thoughts with Bosse De Santos, the podcast where I deliver powerful God truths to fuel your success. My name is Bosse De Santos, your host, and I'm honored to journey with you towards attaining a success mindset. I lead Romans 819 Ministries, where we equip Christians to know who they are and what they have in Christ so they can live audacious and impactful lives. In each bite-sized episode, we'll dive into scriptures which affirm the mindsets which have propelled successful leaders, innovators, and visionaries to the heights they've attained. Join me every other weekday for a quick, potent dose of eternal wisdom meets contemporary success. Hello, friends and fellow world changers. It's Wednesday, and trust things are going great with you. The title of today's episode is Armed with the Power of Truth, God's Word. Our focus scripture is Ephesians 6 verse 17. And today I'll read from the contemporary English version. It reads, Let God's saving power be like a helmet, and for a sword, use God's message that comes from the Spirit. The helmet protects our minds while the sword, the word of God, is our primary tool for overcoming challenges. In every aspect of life, equipping ourselves with God's truth empowers us to navigate obstacles, make wise decisions and defend against negativity or deception. His helmet guarantees our identity as the redeemed of God and his word, our sword, helps us to fend off the enemy's rant. Remember, he starts with suggestions in the mind, which more often than not attacks our identity to derail us from entering or possessing our inheritance in Christ. Richard Stearns was a highly successful corporate leader, serving as the president of the luxury tableware company Lennox Incorporated. He had all the signs of worldly success an impressive career, wealth, and influence in the corporate world. However, in the late 1990s, Stearns began feeling unsettled and spiritually restless, sensing God calling him to something different. In the midst of this, Stearns was approached by World Vision, a a Christian humanitarian organization, asking him to become their CEO. Initially, he resisted the idea as it meant living behind a lucrative career for a much smaller salary and stepping into a role that would involve facing global poverty and crisis, an entirely new challenge. He wrestled with the decision, feeling inadequate for the task and and unsure about the drastic change it would bring to his life. During this time, Stern sought wisdom and direction from God through prayer and the scriptures. He specifically focused on passages like Ephesians 6 verse 17, meditating on the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. He he came to realize that his feelings of inadequacy could be overcome by relying on God's strength and that God's word would guide him through this transition. Stearns in the end accepted the position at World Vision leading the organization through some of its most challenging and impactful years. His obedience to God's calling allowed him to use his business skills for a higher purpose, helping millions of people around the world. Richard's reliance on the word of God and his willingness to be led by the Spirit equipped him for the unexpected battles and opportunities he faced in his new role. His story is a powerful example of how when faced with challenges, Turning to God's word can provide the clarity and strength we need to fulfill a greater calling. What are some key takeaways and success principles found in this scripture? Whether you're facing uh, difficulties at work or in personal relationship, using God's word can help you overcome obstacles by giving you strength, wisdom, and the right perspective. Guard your thoughts against doubt, fear, or negativity in both your personal and professional life by remembering your identity in Christ and the truth of your salvation. And just as a sword defends and attacks, the word of God equips you to recognize and refute lies or temptations 
that come your way, whether they are external challenges or internal struggles. Some practical life applications. When facing a challenge at work or in life, find and meditate on verses that address your specific situation, whether it's wisdom, strength, or peace. Let the word of God shape your decisions and responses. When you encounter stress, fear, or doubt in your daily life, remind yourself of who you are in Christ. Speak scriptures that affirm your salvation and victory over negative thoughts. Start each day by reading and reflecting on a passage of scripture. Let the truths from the, the Bible guide your mindset and actions in both your personal life and the workplace. To conclude, Ephesians 6 verse 17 reminds us the word of God is more than just a book of teachings. It's a powerful tool that equips us for every challenge we may face in life. The helmet of salvation guards our minds and helps us stay focused on the truth of who we are in Christ, while the sword of the Spirit, God's word, empowers us to overcome challenges and defend against the lies and deceptions we face. By applying the truth of scripture to every area of our lives, we can walk in victory, confidently knowing that God's wisdom and protection are always with us. Take up your sword, stand firm, move forward with the assurance that you are equipped for success in all areas of life. Now here's a declaration to make and meditate on throughout today. I declare, I am armed with the truth of God's word and protected by the helmet of salvation. In every situation, I stand strong, confident in my identity in Christ. I wield the sword of the Spirit, using God's word to overcome every challenge and deception. I walk in wisdom, peace, and victory in both my personal life and professional journey. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for listening and taking action. I trust this episode has impacted you. Please subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Also, if you know anyone who could use these proofs, please share with them and be sure to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Jesus entrusts us with the responsibility of being salt and light in the world. Both traits are nouns and verbs, who to be and what to do. Romans 8, 19 says, The world is waiting for us to demonstrate God. So go out, make a difference today, even if just one heart at a time. May the grace of God empower you, his wisdom instruct you, and his love secure you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you and God bless. Have a successful day and see you on Friday.